sit and meditate for a few minutes. Anam Pavana, Sapakna. When you stay with your breath, we're here to get the mind, but we focus on the breath first. If you try to focus directly on the mind, you don't know where you're going to focus. It's like focusing on the air. So you focus on the breath. Get to know the breath really well. The question is, when is concentration going to come? It'll come if you're really interested in the breath. How about the factors of jhana? They'll come when you're really interested in the breath. You don't have to focus on thinking about too many things at once. Just be with the breath. And a lot of those factors will just come together right there. It's usually only afterwards that you can begin to sort things out. So what was actually the difference between a mind in really deep concentration and a mind in not so deep, or a mind not in concentration at all? In the beginning, you just make up your mind. You want, really want to get to know the breath all the way down through the toes, all the way down through the fingers. What is this breath energy they talk about in the body? It's there. You're, you're feeling it. The question is, do you know that you're feeling it? And once you get a sense for it, what can you do with it? When you begin to get a sense of okay, when the breath energy is going up, when it's going down, when it's circling around a place. Then the next question, of course, is how do you change it to be better? Again, here's a chance to make a lot of mistakes, but also a chance to learn from your mistakes. If we push things too hard, you tend to get a headache. If you don't do anything at all, well, then it doesn't get very interesting. So try to keep your interest going in the breath. This is one of the bases for success in, in meditation or in concentration, is having an interest in what you're doing. It comes with the desire, and then from the desire comes the persistence. And you find all of these things will come down together, sort themselves out and come down together. Just make the breath the basis of what you want to know. Because the better you get to know the breath, okay, then the better you're going to get to know the mind. As John Lee says, it's like a mirror. When everything is fine with the breath, it's like a mirror that's flat and well-polished. You can see your mind really clearly. If the breath is not even, it's like a bumpy mirror. Things get distorted. So don't worry about when you're going to get this level or that level of concentration. Worry about how can I get to know about the breath. And that's what gets the mind to settle down. <laughs>